I got my Yesu FT901A, which is I try out with my Diamond NR770HA antenna, which is general basic UHF, VHF antenna. I test out, everything works. So I gotta take out the antenna, put in my car for my Kenwood, uh, which is a 710GA. It gonna work great. But for my uh, base tension antenna, I got this one here, Yasu Power Gain ATS 128. It's auto tuning antenna. Supposedly work very well. It's still designed for mobile, but I got used for a balcony. And since I got used for a balcony, I got this particular kit. Kit the ATPK 100, which is uh, designed for have additional VHF and UHF function. It will boost a little bit more, so I got a little bit more benefit from have both of this since I got just put on the balcony permanently until it's rain I can take out even though it's designed for mobile I still don't want to get rain on that much and that is, I don't use it that much so I only need a screwing uh, tight when I gonna use it so here is antenna I just opened it and you got a nice little sticker with instruction you got cap for weatherproofing antenna and uh, auto tuning function. You got a nice little antenna over here. And oh, inside this one here, I have the Allen wrench that you can tighten down the cap over here. And this is standard connection to your antenna. It's a little bit heavy because it have a lot of coils to uh, increase the, the distance for the antenna. That's why it's auto tuning. It just move up and down to have the, the extra length. So you don't have to have all the different frequency. And it's auto tuning to my uh, 991A, so it worked very good. And this one will help uh, with a VHF and UHF function, so it will be great. I got my base uh, with a diamond antenna C101. It should work very good. And because this antenna require nice grounding i got this one here for grounds with a little connection shrink wrap so it will work very good and since i don't use it, the hand radio that much because i work a lot except for right now it's coronavirus otherwise i'd be working most of the time uh the, just in case i bought a cover for it this cover is from the JSE Amateur Radio product, which is uh, JSE Repair Limited, which is very nice. The model, it's uh, very good. And you can have your uh, own call sign on it, which is like $8 more. This particular one here is uh, without the other extra stuff I bought, it's uh, $27. But to add the weird flap over here, it's three dollars more because I gonna permanently mount it. I just not gonna pull out all the cable all the time, so I want the flap over here. So instead, every time you need to jam the cable below the thing, I gotta just keep it uh, up like this. And this particular mic uh, microphone section, this one is four dollars. With this one here, I don't even need to take out the microphone. I still can cover. They cover really nice and tight, and they do have the model that if you have extra external speaker on it, either left or right, uh, with a standard Yasu speaker, I think it's a SP10. They do have the model that will cover it. You just need to tell them it's gonna be left or right, and what's the distance on the microphone section, and they can uh, design one for you. It'll be different price, but overall, this is really nice. And with this embroidery, which is $2, compared to regular standard one, which is not so nice without the model number, it just say Yasu. Then it's a little bit press overall. So this particular set is 36, it's very nice, and shipping, uh, cost extra. So that's it, uh, I'm gonna set up and let's get connected and see you on the web, I am KK6DYC. So please talk to me when you get a chance. I may be on, not on most of the time, but who knows. Thank you.